Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you this morning as I share your word, oh God. Bless them, oh God, and use me as a vessel in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Florence Mine. I will come and use you at another time. We'll celebrate your moment with joy. The title of my message will be, It Was For Your Sake, day number three. I woke up with a song, and it sang in Swahili, and that led me to the message for today. And I'm going to sing a little bit, and I'll explain. It says, Ali ube bam salaba kuele kia gori gori. Ali ube bam salaba ili mimi ni ukolewe. That is to say that Jesus carried the cross all the way to Golgotha for your sake and for my sake. And God reminded me of Peter. Peter, when he saw that Jesus was carried away to the house of the high priest. He walked at a distance. Let me just read Luke 22 and verse 54 and 55 reads. Then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance. And when, they, and when some there had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. When Jesus was taken away, and this was for your sake and for my sake, Peter, one of his disciples, followed at a distance. Why did he follow at a distance? He was just about to deny Jesus. And when among those people had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard, Peter sat there with them. Do you know many of the times we deny the Lord or our faith because of mere things like just the fire that was kindled in the courtyard of that time? Fire of envy, fire of immorality, fire of jealousy and anger. And we follow the Lord at a distance. I have no problem with the people who get uh, saved well at their deathbed. But hello, why don't you trust the Lord when you are strong enough so that at least uh, you will be able to tell somebody of his love. God's masses are new every morning so he gives, still give, forgive them. But don't you think, what do you think yourself? Do you want to wait until deathbed? Why don't you want to identify yourself, not with your credentials of the world, but with the Lord Jesus, saying, I am so and so and I love the Lord. I know it is so easy to, say, to introduce yourself. I, my name is so and so and I am a doctor by profession. I'm a pilot by profession. How I would pray that because Christ carried the cross all the way to Golgotha, bearing the shame, why don't you also start and the Lord will bless you. Because it was for your sake. Are you there? I hope you are not waiting at that time, but you cannot be able even to see, to say, Lord, I love you. How I pray, there's a young man, because you are strong, that you can trust the Lord today. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us not to follow you at a distance, but to be near because you carried the shame to the cross for our behalf. Thank you, Lord. Soften our hearts that are like rocks so that we can be able to serve you and to give our lives to you in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. If you have decided to trust the Lord this time of Easter, I would urge you to go to a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel from Genesis to Revelation for your spiritual growth. Thank you.